Hey Capricorn, what's up Capricorn? Welcome back to the channel, it's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Capricorn placements. So wherever you guys have Capricorn in your chart, do keep in mind that this is general. And it may or may not resonate with all you Capricorns out there. But if it does, please show Fire some love, y'all. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Alrighty, and if you guys would love to do a personal reading with me, fireedition.com. Or you guys can book on my online store, mytearshavehealedmyheart.com. And over there, you guys could book personal readings, rituals, also have amazing spiritual products, classes, all that good stuff, okay? So definitely check it out. All right, so let's see what's going on. around Capricorn at this time. We have Dwarfs of Personal Healing and Happiness. Okay. Love it. So you guys are choosing yourselves right now, Capricorn. You guys are going to the door of personal healing and happiness. All right. So we got Angel of Balance. It did come in reverse. So we're going to take it. So you may be a little off balance. Okay. Your angels are definitely still here and supporting you. Or maybe something in your life is imbalanced, okay? But I do see that, look, you're going towards personal healing and happiness. We got the world card in reverse, too. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is like, yes, you guys are going through the door of personal healing and happiness. But there's something in your life um, from the past that needs balance. Something that needs to be healed, fixed, restored. Or it's like you're still kind of caught in this cycle. Even though you are you know, healing and focusing more on yourself and happiness, there's something from your past that needs to, it's going to come back around. It's not over. It's not done with. There's some unfinished business here. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. So let's pull one more card and see. Okay. 84 can be significant. 92. Maybe you guys are born in one of those years. We have Goddess of the Moon. So something is, okay, so y'all know I don't take cards from the ground. Um, this talks about moon cycles. So something happened during the full moon or something is being brought back up or will be in the next moon cycle or during a moon cycle, something from the past where there's unfinished business is going to come back around. And I wonder if the will balance be, look, see, indecision here, woman holding her heart. Somebody is going to come back and tell you how they feel about you or in regards to something somebody can also change your mind about something too why is the angel of balance or reverse what is this about contract see so this could be some type of contract this can be like a work contract this can be like court this can be child support any type of contract a divorce a marriage this can just be a soul contract but whatever somebody feels like something isn't fair and somebody's gonna make of uh, the right decision or do something in your favor especially if this is court related but if not it's like somebody does actually have a heart and they're not going to try to ruin things or mess up things for you they're going to try to they're just going to walk away from the situation because they feel like walking away is the best thing to do it could be male or female but i'm getting more female energy yeah walking away and thinking male it could be that because somebody is also moving on too see i keep getting walking away attachment somebody that was attached to you is walking away or someone that you were attached to is walking away but they're doing something to balance things out see how we got balance in reverse and we got the justice kills here in the upright so even if you're a male watching and say you moved on and you got with somebody new and your ex was causing problems in your new relationship right trying to make things unfair for you not letting you see your kids stuff with payments or whatever this may be right it's like somebody is doing something that is fair or like somebody like i said really does have a heart they may seem like they don't you know, they may act a certain kind of way. You know, they may do certain things or somebody is trying to hurt somebody. But it's because they were still attached. And now that they're no longer attached to the situation and they're walking away from whatever they were attached to, it's like shifting things and allowing things to balance out. If that makes sense, okay? So, yes, magicians. Some of you guys are manifesting something to, like, you're manifesting or wanting some type of change in this situation. And it's also bringing in cornucopia, which is like blessings, right? 
So Capricorn, male or female, it's like somebody that wronged you or did you wrong, you're going to get balance in that situation where things will be fair for you. Right? Sorry. Things will be fair for you, okay? So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Capricorn. So, yeah, it's like the situation is changing. Let's see. Let's pull six cards and see what's going on. Whatever comes out, comes out. Whether it's love, general. It could be both. All right, let's see. Messages for... Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? All right, Capricorn. So we got the Queen of Cups. We have the Page of Cups. So there's a there's a love offer and an apology around you guys. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody does have feelings for you. Somebody does care about you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person has a hard time showing how they feel or expressing their feelings towards you. And they will be. Let me see. Justice. See, you're getting justice in this situation. Yeah. Finally, justice is served. Like, justice is served. You win. King of Pentacles reverse. And the Seven of Cups reverse. Somebody that was confused about you. Somebody that didn't want to commit to you. Somebody that was unsure is apologizing. So, you got the world card here and the knight of wands. But the thing is, though, Capricorn, is because for some of you guys, the reason this is why they weren't committing to you is because of the past of whoever else they were with. They were, I wouldn't say they were really, like, scared to, but a part of them was. Yeah, there was a lot of confusion. And they knew that if they committed to you or got into a serious relationship with you, it could have affected what they had going on with their children, their finances, or something like that. So, there was a reason why somebody was not committing to you. Yeah, like, so this is the reason why they didn't commit, you know? Um, and it had to do with them being tied to someone where there was some type of unfinished business. Yeah, there was some type of unfinished business here. So, let me see. Messages for Capricorn. Yeah, so it's like they're ready now, but something um yeah because of the king of cups universe they weren't ready when you were ready yeah and even though it may seem like this person like came off as suspicious i was doing something again they just the past or whoever they were with before you just had a little bit too much control because there's no way like it's like they were scared to make moves or do things based on somebody else see they wanted to make moves and come towards you even after an ending right but they were scared to yeah so they were kind of quiet and withdrawn a little bit they moved a little slower. This person knew they wanted to commit to you, but like I said, they felt wrong for being in a relationship with you or somebody was making them feel bad for wanting to be with you. But this person does love you and I definitely see an apology coming in. So I do see love. I do see an apology coming in. I do see an offer coming in. Let me see. Going to the King of Pentacles, the higher font page of cups. So let's see. See the emperor in reverse. Somebody felt powerless. They felt bad. But the whole time in the back of their mind, they wanted to commit to you and be with you. There also could have been a child involved for some of you guys. And they didn't want to risk that situation with their child. They didn't want to risk not being able to see them being around them. Or they didn't know how that person was going to react. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands in reverse. Because mm, they had, for some of you guys, they had already started acting funny. Because they were pouring and putting time into you guys, right? So they were already starting to act funny. Go back a little bit to this King of Cups in reverse. Let's clarify that. Why is the King of Cups in reverse with this Queen of Cups? Because I just want to see something. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? See the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Six of Cups. They knew what they wanted, right? And they felt the strong connection. But at the same time, they felt like they were betraying someone else for you. But... It made it feel like they betrayed you for them because even though they weren't together, they were still holding on or felt obligated. Yes. See, look, this is giving in to two different situations. It's the seven of pentacles. Yes. But it's like, you see, there's two people pouring into like this magic pot. It's like they want to mix something up with you and make things work out with you. But then they're trying to mix things up with this other person to make things work with them. Or they're trying to keep this person on their good side. They're kind of trying to keep this person calm 
who, yeah, look, see six of pentacles giving into both situations, right? And so they're like, oh, I can't betray, betray this person for Capricorn. But then they're like, damn, I don't want to betray Capricorn for this person. So they were conflicted, but they do have feelings and love for you guys, right? But this is why they couldn't commit to you, though. And it was because of how somebody else felt, which is sad. Because I feel like if it's over, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, how, like, you can't force someone to, like, I don't know. You can't force a situation. Let's see. The hangman. Yeah, they were feeling very stuck. See, four of wands. And while they were over there building and starting something with you, they were feeling bad that what they had with the other person was over. But I'm telling you, it had to be a child, a financial ob obligation, or... It could be the history that they have with this person, but for some reason, or it could have been the control that the person had over you, Capricorn. I mean, had over them, Capricorn. Are you Capricorn? Since I said it, that they had over them to make them feel like this. Let's see. Why is the four of wands here? Five of wands. See, drama. So y'all couldn't even be in a peaceful situation. They were starting drama as soon as they found out about you. And then this person threw in their face, like, all the things I've been through with you, all the times I've been for, been there for you, all the times I supported you, I had your back, this is what you're going to do to me. Because they did go through a lot of stuff, right? They could have been with this person for 10 plus years. but And that came to an ending. And this other person felt like, and I know Capricorn, this is y'all reading and they issues are coming in. But that's what we get. But that's what we're getting, right? But this person felt like they deserved a fight meaning like they wanted this person to fight for them the time the history you know everything they've been through like how can you just carry on and move on and move forward and go towards some go towards capricorn go towards someone new and act like i don't matter so i feel like that's you know that's why they were you know kind of scared or nervous that's why they didn't want to commit right away but they were happy with you y'all were vibing it was y'all were chilling it was a vibe but it was also conflict inner conflict king of swords what do i do i know what i want to do i know i want to start over judgment some of you guys just had to travel with this person, but if not, it's like, I know I want to start over. I know I want something new, but this person is making them carry guilt from the past or guilt in general. Page of Pentacles, making up excuses for them to come around, see the children, come to the house, starting arguments with them. And then, like I said, if there's not a child, just saying stuff so that they can come around like, oh, I'm not going to be, you know, it's not going to be drama. I'm not going to do that. You know, I've, I've changed. I'm different. And then here we go, same old thing, more drama, more tension, more conflict, the lovers reverse. Really mad and upset that they're really, that they're choosing to move forward with you and not them. So that's why they wouldn't commit to you guys for some of you that are in this situation. For some of you guys, they could have committed to you guys or with you, but the relationship is just still feeling weird. Like y'all just weren't on the same page or, you know, you felt like they were choosing, um... You felt like they were choosing them over you guys for some of you guys, which is that's what it looks like they were doing, but they didn't want them. So why even choose somebody over somebody that you don't even want to be with? Yeah, that's weird. So let's see why justice is in re I mean, why justice is here with this king of pentacles in reverse. See, that's it. Like they already had chosen you, but they just weren't committed to you. Eight of swords in reverse. So the truth is out. They're no longer in their head. And they feel like if that person is mad, let them be mad. Queen of Wands in reverse. That person is upset. That person is pissed. And that person is trying to start more shit, more drama. This person wants y'all to break up. Could be a Toys Virgo Capricorn or an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Or Aries Leo Sag. I feel like whatever they were doing before to get your person's attention is no longer working. So they'll communicate and say things. But now it's like it's no longer working. They're just like, okay. It's not working. That's done. That's over with. You know, you can't use that to make me mad or, or make me upset no more. Because now they're more focused on you. So, if they haven't committed to you guys yet, then they're going to. That's what they've been back and forth about. That's what they've been weighing up. Ten of Wands in reverse. They're finally letting this go so that they can be more serious with you. Going to the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Yep, see the Queen of Pentacles. So you were there. That's you, Capricorn. You're the person they want to be with. You've been patient. You've been understanding. You've been nice. You've been trying to balance and work things out with them. Okay? You feel like this person is the one. They feel like you're the one. Y'all get excited about each other. Y'all talk to each other all the time. Or were. But the tower that came in was... So there was a tower moment, right? And for some of you guys, you wanted to walk away. Some of you guys went off. Some of you guys were so mad and upset. 
you know, but I'm glad the tower came in because it shifted things between you and this person. And it also made this person really see and realize what it is they wanted. Like I said, they did, they always wanted you. They did want you, but it shifted them away from that other person's energy and shifted them, shifted them away from feeling some type of way. And this person's like, fuck it with the full in reverse. I'm going to take the risk. You know, fuck it. I'm going to do it. Like it is, it is, it is what it is. Like, you know, they're not going to stop me from seeing my kids or they're not going to stop me from doing this. They're not going to stop my money because at first that's what they were scared of. Yeah, I'm moving on. Six of swords. I'm going towards calmer waters. Whether you like it or not, I'm not turning my back on my kid or what I owe you or what I got to do. I'm turning my back on the situation and I'm moving forward. And that's what they did not like. But that is why they were acting funny with you guys. So, like I said, even if there is no children involved... It just has to do with them feeling obligated to someone or feeling bad for leaving someone behind. Or that's what that person was making them feel like. You know, like, oh, you're just leaving me behind to go move forward. Like, we're grown. Like, if it's over, it's over. But obviously, they didn't understand that part. So let's see. Messages for Capricorn. Okay, so we got nervous. So, yeah, this person was nervous. It says, my heart stops when I look at you. I don't know why this person was nervous to tell you. Like, for some of you guys, they were nervous to tell you how messy the situation was. All right, this person is curious about you. See, and this person was burnt out. This person was tired. They were burnt out. They were dealing with a lot. And that's sad because they feel like they couldn't even come to you and tell you guys a lot of things. Not saying you. Like, they couldn't come to you, but just the situation. Reaching my limit. Yeah, see, somebody pushed their buttons, reaching my limit. For some of you guys, this can be you. All right? See, look, somebody was just too toxic. Let's see who was just too toxic. The person that they're getting away from or got away from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The person that they turned their back on was just too toxic and would just not understand. Somebody was being stubborn as fuck, maybe selfish, and we got spellbound. Using dark magic and dark energy. Mm-hmm. So somebody was doing spell work as well. Yep, they were getting money to do spell work and spread rumors on you. Yep, but the full moon or some type of moon cycle, something exposed them. Oh, wow, that can be what it is. Something is going to expose them. Some type of truth is coming out. Mm -mm -mm. The truth is coming out. <laughs> Look, spell work is backfiring. Somebody is being exposed. Something that's hidden, somebody's going to find out what somebody was doing. Something's coming to light. Let's see, Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. We have fairy tale romance. Wow. So this romance will feel magical. All right. And exciting. So you guys maybe do have something very strong here. Maybe something you guys both wanted, but had this situation in the way. Right? Let's see. We have self-love. So it says girl power. You must find happiness within yourself before you are able to find it with someone else. You are enough. So maybe this has tested you, you know, in some type of way. You just don't feel love. There's a lack of self-love. Um, we have unspoken love. You or your partner may prefer not to profess your love right away. Could be out of fear of rejection. So I don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like the unspoken love was due to the fact that maybe they didn't want you guys to know that they were moving the way they were moving because of this other person in this other situation. Okay. So let's see, y'all. Messages for Capricorn. Let's see what y'all need to heal at this time. We have sexuality, number four. So some of y'all need to heal sexuality. Okay. So it says sexuality is a natural part of life. Embrace and enjoy your intimate, sexual, passionate nature. Take time to explore your sexuality. How do you feel about yourself? Do you feel sexy, attractive, and happy with your body? Or, or are you judging yourself harshly? You need to let go of any old feelings of hurt, shame, or guilt in relation to your sexuality if you are in a relationship you need to bring some romance back and spice things up in order to make sex an incredibly fulfilling seductive and orga orgasmic 
experience. <laughs> you need to let go of your defenses and fears of being intimate with your partner. Relinquish control and dive into unguarded, blissful passion. Be creative, communicate with your lover, and find a new and exciting way to thrill each other. Okay? So, y'all are just healing in general with healing at the bottom. And y'all are healing y'all sex life and y'all sexuality. Okay? So, let's see... Messages for Capricorn. Self love messages. Okay, so we got three. Let's see. We have the throat chakra. It's time to speak up, Capricorn. Clear that throat chakra. Okay. We have set some boundaries. So maybe you guys need to set some boundaries with somebody. Okay. Uh, and then we have positive affirmations. So today is your day. Using positive affirmations every day can change your life. Okay. So speaking affirmations, setting boundaries, and clearing the throat chakra is what you guys need to do and focus on okay all righty capricorn so that is your reading y'all if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell if you guys would love to book y'all already know fireintuition.com or you guys can book on my online store my tears i feel my heart.com all righty i love you capricorn bye y'all